Welcome to Sovereign Temples, where we are going to explore the space all around you and within you. This space truly is the quantum fabric of the Holy Mother's womb that is all around us, within us, and sustaining every single thing that is in form. And yes, we're surrounded by density, my dogs walking, jumping on the bed. We're surrounded by creatures. We're surrounded by the slower moving light particles. But even that light is contained within space. And I love the saying about songs. I believe I first heard it from Wayne Dyer. And it is the space between the notes that really create music. That spaciousness, that pause. In order to really experience a deep communion with the Divine Mother, I have found space and my consciousness surrendering into the space can take me into profound levels of communion and I know for others as well. And to, in that space of spaciousness, there's room for miracles and shifts of consciousness through what gets revealed to us, um, what we have been in, caught in an illusion of somehow not being whole already when everything is within this quantum space. And so that's the practice that I want to um, take you all through is just a communion and exploration of space as we are truly in the house of the divine, our bodies and the cosmic space all around us and to remember that is to return home to return to the wholeness that you always are that is permeating everything and it's just a surrender into that dissolving space that is truly nourishing so I'd love to invite you to Take up space in the room that you're in, outside, wherever you are, just begin to let your higher self guide you on the perfect place to experience this communion. And beginning to just being aware of the breath. You don't have to alter it. Just becoming aware as you're settling in. In through the nose, now out through the mouth. Just really aware of every breath in. Every breath out. Where is that air going? Do you have space within you that allows you to breathe in? Thinking about when you breathe out, how it expands a balloon, a flotation device, hmm, air floating. Floating is for sure an aspect of space. Just seeing your body as this receptivity channel 
to receive the space and the quantum fabric of the air around you. How much space is between your throat and your heart? much space does that trachea have from that first moment of the divine air entering you, traveling down into your lungs, exchanging the spaciousness of oxygen to your heart. Seeing how much space from your lungs down to your pelvis, even amongst all your beautiful organs that are in divine service to you, how much space from your lungs to your pelvis? Breathing into all of this space, filling every pore In your skin now, how much space is between your skin, throughout your skin, all the layers, all the pores, all the hairs, all the space. Your next breath in, breathe in through every pore of your body. One more deep breath in every pore of your body. It's now from your pelvis up to your mind, your brain. Seeing that spinal column really connecting these two areas. Just traveling on this pranic center, this spinal cord. All the space all the space to the synovial fluid, your body, your joints, and then that spine, that craniosacral, all that central nervous spinal juice. It has so much space in it. Just looking back at the space from the brain down to the pelvis, from your heart to your hands, your hands an extension of your heart, how much space from your heart to each sides of your hands, your wingspan, it's a lot of space. What about the space at the bottoms of your feet, your earth stars? all the way to the top of your crown, top of your head. How much space are you feeling into? Take a breath in through the bottom of your feet and let that air go all the way up to the top of your head, through all that space. Breathing in through the top of your head, sending all of that divine communion down through the soles of your feet into the center of the earth. And seeing a light above you, your higher self, now encapsulating all of this spaciousness with a divine diamond Merkaba field of light. This light just reflecting off of all this space. As you are rooted in Gaia and Mother Earth and 
connected to her. This space is all around you. Start to become aware of it, almost like you're in the center of a hurricane, in the eye of the storm. You're all this space. And feeling this swirling space now, these swirling winds all around you, every direction. Just becoming to the space that's present in the room, in the winds, in the circulating winds of the hurricane around you. In the spaciousness, you can't see wind, but you know it is there. Just feeling into it. It's okay if you don't see anything. We're just feeling into spaciousness. Holy Mother, Holy Father, higher selves. We gather to deepen into our communion with the divine attribute that is space, spaciousness, the amniotic fluid, of the holy womb that sustains all of life, that sustains our Holy Father's particles of light emanating from the holy black womb. And tapping in to the space all around you. There's space even between your bed or a chair. Continuing to allow this space to expand these swirling winds as the spaciousness within the eye of the storm. As these swirling winds just getting wider and wider, higher and higher, lower and lower. And you're picked up in this swirling spaciousness, the spaciousness of divine consciousness that is all around you. It is breathing into you. That you breathe back out into. Nothing can exist outside of this spaciousness is never ending, is all consuming, it is everything and nothing at the same time. Just allowing yourself to keep that concentration on feeling the spaciousness. And when you are ready, allow yourself to feel the spaciousness that is within you. Begin to draw to it the spaciousness that is outside of your physical reference, outside of your physical body. As you have a light body known as a Ka in Egyptian alchemy. It looks very similar to your physical dense body, yet it is moving way faster, vibrating faster, and is light. Feeling 
this aspect of you allowing the denser parts of your body along with the complete spaciousness of all the cosmos around you swirling to all now merge into one three become two two become one oneness just experiencing this communion of space Holy Mother, creatrix of all life, thank you. Thank you for this nourishing space. Thank you for this remembrance of oneness, of wholeness, of being in complete divine union with you through space. Holy Father, thank you for your light that allows for this descent and the remembrance when the ascent takes place back into the space. Dissolving all the separation. Remembering it is all part of your holy essence. Asking in the temple of God that I am always in, as I am always in my spacious body, I am always connected to the spaciousness all around me and within me. Allowing yourself to feel the merging of your physical form with your light body, your auric field, and that field now merging into the empty space all around you within you feeling this floating sensation feeling this nourishment feeling how light it feels feeling the gift of remembrance
by yourselves. Assist us in integrating this spaciousness on all four levels of our being, our physical body, our emotional body, our mental body, and all of our spiritual light bodies as it is for our highest good. Bless us with eyes to see and ears to hear that we are always in the house of divinity. As Yeshua shared, there are many mansions in his father's kingdom. In the mansion of space, in the mansion of this human vessel that is divine, holy, sacred space for communion, for living, for joy, pleasure, ecstasy, bliss, the descent into sadness, the unknown, fear, terror, depression. For it is often in those descents that create the pain and the feeling of being separated that light a little fire under our ass to return inward to return to the truth of always being in unity with you, Holy Mother, Holy Father. Always being in union with our higher selves, with our inner child. Thank you for this space of grace. Thank you all for being a part of this communion and exploration of grace through the blessing of space. May you remember that everywhere your feet touch is sacred ground. And may you embody that truth and integrate it and live it out in any way that your higher self knows is for your highest good. And we give thanks to all that is, all of the elements of earth, air, fire, and water, the ether, the space. that are in divine service to offer us this dance of descending and ascending and using the vehicle of our human body here on planet Earth. We give thanks. We now seal this communion into the holy space and into the holy light of God and the goddess as children of the most high. I'm just allowing this spaciousness that is nourishing you to guide you maybe into water 
or journaling, taking a bath, blessing the water that you bathe in, that you drink, that you cook with, the waters of your blood. Just allowing yourself to really just become present as you come out of this space into just the blessing of your day-to-day life and all the space within it that you can always use to see the reflection of the divine that you need nothing external to change to ever commune with what is always present within you and all around you as that truly ends all cravings, all fixations on needing more, more, more externally. Surrender to the infinite of more, 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 which is space that's all around you and within you. My name is Casey Christine and I proclaim it is done, it is done, it is done. If you would like to see more of any of our offerings or gatherings that we do, you can always check out lightbody.technology. If you are someone interested in womb wisdom, the divine feminine womb wisdom, you can check out ancient womb wisdom. I want to thank you all for such a beautiful collective communion. All my love and light. Namaste.